I'm here in Germany with Max, a Tesla owner, and he's been owning this Tesla Model S since 2016. Max, can you tell us a bit more about how your journey with Tesla began? <laughs> Actually, I share this uh, car with my parents, and usually when they don't drive it, I drive it. Uh, so now I'm lucky again that my parents are gone uh, for three weeks, so I'm driving it all the time. Yeah, it's, it's one of the first models that they had here in Germany, 2016, when Tesla came to Germany. And this used to be like a demo car. It doesn't have air suspension. And at the end, when my parents actually bought it, they found out it doesn't even fit in their garage. Right. So it's not a garage car. So, yeah. It sits outside. It's, it's always outside, yeah. It's, it's a little problematic with charging, especially not, nowadays it's better, like the superchargers. Actually, we're also lucky because this one still came with like unlimited charging. Yes. If you use Tesla chargers. The newer ones you buy here, you have to pay. That's right. So, so the older Model S and the Model X, if you buy them, you get lifetime free supercharging. It's like lifetime of the car, not your own. <laughs> of the car, yeah. not, not your own self. So it doesn't transfer across vehicles. And here we are in one of the larger supercharger stations in Frankfurt. There are about 18, 20 stalls in this location. So it's quite big. And the charge port is different. Can you show us please, Max? Yeah, it's still the old version. This is a very different looking uh, Tesla charge port that for those of us, especially in Southeast Asia, we are used to the old, the new CCS charge port. Okay. You want to try to yeah. uh, unplug it? So I'll just pull it out. If the car is unlocked. Yeah, you can, no, you have to still like use the button. See, okay, yeah. there you go. So it looks like this. It's got an adapter for the car because it's using the old charge ports over here. It's from Fremont factory because there's only one factory in the world that makes the Model S and X globally. And we were very fortunate to get a chance to visit Fremont factory. So that's the charge port and the plug it in, it just plug in like that. Yeah. And then usually it should go blue and then green. So blue means it's communicating with the car. Exactly. And green means it's charging. Yeah. Now this Model S is something that many of us haven't seen before, which is a sunroof. Can you please show us how it works, Max? Sure. You want to sit inside and try it or should I show you? Okay, I'll, I'll try to sit inside. <laughs> Welcome to Old School Model S with the vertical screen. So in a sunroof, I think you go to controls and then you hear sunroof, we click open. There you go, above us, one of the rare Teslas that has a sunroof that actually opens. We have so many friends who ask, can we open the roof? And we can with this one. Well, with this weather like we have it now, I use it a lot. Like, unless I'm going high speed on the highway, right. uh, I do like to use it because it's not noisy and it's just, yeah, gives you more air, which I prefer to the aircon. You guys are used to aircon, no? I know. <laughs> In Singapore, it's so humid. This is awesome. Like, look at that. This is awesome. Really, really cool. Thank you so much, Max, for You're sharing welcome. this with us. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have you experienced any trouble with your Tesla yet? So far, like, we, I've got a new refresh Model 3. That's excellent. The build quality, the suspension, the quietness, the range, no complaints. We exchanged the motor of the booth twice. Okay. Because they said we opened it too many times. Oh, okay. <laughs> I used to have a dog, so the dog was in and out all the time. And the outside door, yeah. the motor broke, like the, the handle didn't come out anymore. Right. I have this issue right now with the back, uh, with the rear door. And then other than that, I don't know, the charger I had to exchange once because okay. somehow water came inside. I see. So it's really well used, almost 150,000 kilometers. Do you drive across Europe or mainly in, within Germany? Well, mainly I've been to Switzerland with the car, to Italy with the car. The problem was back then when I did the trip, that was like 2017-ish. Mm -hmm. um, there was not that many, like the network of supercharging yeah. was not there. Like some hotels claimed they had like supercharging yeah. and it was just like they offered you their regular 230 I see. plug and then you charged like overnight and you had a few kilometers on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But nowadays it's, it's gotten better still. Yes. Like now I have to say here, what I experience here is now that they open the chargers to all companies, yes. so not only Tesla, sometimes you come here and let's say you have 14. Yeah. Seven cars can occupy all 14 oh. if they have the charger on the other side. Understand. So they occupy two parkings because they park on the opposite parking and mm. then you cannot use it anymore. So that happened to me already many times that I, I came somewhere 
where there was not so many charges mm -hmm. and then there was like i don't know some car parked the other way and that's why they like they have charging in the front Got it. and then they have you you it looks like you have a second parking next to them but you cannot park there because you cannot you know get They've the cable used the charge port already yeah yeah so that's two the good learnings i think two good key messages from max like for those who have been long-term tesla owners the build quality there will be more replacements things have gotten better over time now especially with the refresh model 3 and second with the charging network the v3 charging stations the cables aren't as long for some evs where the charge port is in front or on the other side of the car and so tesla releasing the new v4 network has the longer cables oh, nice. have you been to any of those stations with the are the those new the white charge? ones yes they don't have the hole yes the tall Actually, white ones yesterday but I didn't check the length of the cable. I cannot tell you if they're really longer. So they are about 30% longer. Okay. And they're meant for all kinds of EVs to use. And there's also an extra credit card terminal for those who may I've not use I've seen that. I've seen that because it's on the side. Yes, yeah. yes. Because I got there and I was like, wow, what is this? Yes. This is the Tesla chart. Okay, I haven't seen or heard of it. So now it's like, okay, how does it work? And it must be very new because they have, it's also with KFC. So somehow they have a good contract with KFC. That's right. And they have four like to the side road and then four on the back and the four on the front were not working. But then another guy came and said, hey, these are not working yet. Use the other ones. And then... Things are getting better over time. Yes. Max, yes. thank you so much for sharing your experience. You're welcome. Nice it's meeting you here at the parking. <laughs> yes. We just met each other like five minutes ago and we showed him a light show that we were preparing as well. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. <laughs>